Hello Automation Animal Lovers, welcome back to KD Sessions. Today we are going to learn how to upload any type of file in control room and uh, how to use that file in the task board. So let's get started. Let me go to the control room and here I will create one folder. My task. Let me create this folder and inside this folder I will create one more folder. A task boards. I will create one more subfolder for my files. So I will suggest you to always create a folder for uh, your board and inside that folder you can create a subfolder and in that subfolder you can create all the task boards and uh, in another subfolder you can save all the files. Similarly you can create multiple folder. Alright so in my task uh, I have created this task board folder and here I will create a task board a main board okay I have created this task board and in another folder which is my files in this we can upload any file so I will uh, click on this upload file button and here I will click on add files and uh, here I can select any type of file for example I want to uh, use this uh, employees.detail.csv file so I will uh, select this here you can see I have successfully selected this file you can see the details of the file name type size last modified and if you if you have selected incorrect file so you can remove this file and again select the file okay and after that we will click on upload and if and here we go our file has uploaded successfully now I will go to the task board which I have created main board and here I will use this file alright so let me go to actions and I will select con I will search for control room and here I can see copy control room file now I want to use this file in my task board so for that I'm using this action copy control room file and the this action in the file package enables us to copy a control room file to a specific location so first of all we will copy that file into a specific location means in our uh, local drive so there are two options static file path dynamic file path so static file path it enables us to browse the control room repository and select the file so it will show us all the files uh, which are available it will not show the board if there is any task board available in any of the folder it will not show that it will show the files only you can see this tll file and our file is available in this my files so i will select this and click on choose okay so this is the static file path because we can't uh, make any change in this path so always board will use the same file this input data file but what i want to do is i want to for example if we have this condition if a is equal to a so there can be any condition means if this variable is equal to this then select this file otherwise select the another file and see so in this case what uh, we can do is we can select the dynamic file path okay so in dynamic file path we can give the file path in a variable it enables us to browse the uh, control room repository and select the file and in addition it also enables us to an insert variables in a file path to copy a file from a control room repository where the file path is dynamic we can insert a variable that holds the entire file path or the part of the file path so now we can save this file path in the control room in some variable and we can leave that variable here in simple words if i say this in static file path the file path will be a uh, hard code kind of if we want to make the change we want to edit the board and we want to uh, choose the file again but in dynamic file path we can give the variable and uh, the file path we can modify in the variable as per our requirements okay all right so in this after uh, giving the source file path we need to give the target file path means where we want to save that uh, file for example i want to save the file path here uh, for example i want to save the file in this folder sample docs so i will give the path and i will give the name with which i want to save the file for example input 
dot x l s x and uh, if these folders are not available means uh, for example sample docs is not available then it will automatically create that folder and uh, override existing file you can select the boolean value true false and run the bot so this is how we can uh, upload any file to the control room and uh, we can use that file in our task board for example if your file contains any personal information or something uh, which we are using in the board but uh, uh, we don't want to show this file to everyone so we will not save that file in our shared drive or in any other drive instead of that we will save the file in the control room because in control room only uh, developers or whoever have the access they can see the on shared drive anyone can see the file if they have access of that shared drive here we go our board has completed and we can see this file so this is how we can copy the file from the control room to our local system and we can use it and at the end we can delete this file also and thank you guys for watching this video to let me know if you have any doubt or any question